Hello everybody, welcome back to Stardew Valley Expanded. We are on our last week of fall here, so we're going to have to start preparing for winter. Now, where are we here? Robin will finish our new building. What were we building? <laughs> Sorry, it's been a hot second. I completely don't remember. Was it perhaps the deluxe coop? Oh wait, no, 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 no. It's the haystack, or the silo, if you will. Okay, so... We got a couple of new mods, and it looks like to activate one of them, I'm going to have to get our mirror. Because it is part of Fashion Sense. Now, how do I get this to activate? There we go. Okay, so this is, as you can see at the top, Shardust's Animated Hairstyles for Fashion Sense. Basically what it does is, just like the scarf, my hair will now move when I'm walking around. Just a little bouncy. Which rem <laughs> it reminds me of some funny TikToks I've seen. What? Hardwood? Okay, we'll take it. They went fetch. That's what they did. The other mod that I've added is one that I've kind of been complaining. It's a feature that I've been complaining about, and now we'll be able to fix it. It's called Destroyable Bushes. And I'm kind. there's a lot of like compatibilities that it's going to need here. And I'm hoping... <gasps> I should be able to destroy any bush on my farm now, which will allow me to, you know, make things look a little nicer. I'm not going to destroy all the bushes, only the ones that are in the way. So now I can fill in that spot. I will I'll, I'll fill in these spots today. Don't you worry about that. I can, I don't know if these are necessarily in the way. I think so. So I could like connect this area here. I don't, I think there's actually ground there. And this could look a little nicer. Yeah. I mean, there's like a cliff here, but it's beyond the point. Yeah, so there was just like a lot of spots where there was like a bush and it was bothering me. Eggplant. And now I'll be able to fix that. Especially like here, with how many bushes are here, they really like congest the area and I can clear them out so I can get to this boat a little easier. And on their own, they'll regrow in three days. So if I destroy something by accident, it won't be a problem. I've been having feelings about our relationship we just started. I need to tell you some things. Can you visit me at my residence when you have a chance? Well, yes, I can. That's right, we did start dating Olivia yesterday. Here's an old recipe that my grandma passed down to me. Pumpkin soup. That's a great recipe. I always scream about it. Let's fix up all of our pathways first. It's bothering me now that I'm looking at it unfinished. The good thing about my indecisiveness is because it's mostly because we got so much done in the last episode that I'm not like struggling for like stuff to do. Look at that, but I can connect that whole area. Unfortunately, there's still a cliff there, so that'll look a little weird, but that's fine. Finally connect that. And there's probably a ton of other spots that had a bush in the way, I don't know. I want to extend this kind of tree farm all the way to the left so that basically this entire left area we don't even need to think about it it's just there right that's kind of one thing that I would like to do and I want to remove these trees move them over to the left that'll be another project that we work on this week and that'll get our kegs just going a little quicker because that's something I definitely want to set up over the winter uh, let's go get our frying pan I suppose I know my inventory is a mess I'm not really 100% sure what I'm doing so let's get the frying pan. And I've noticed that the hoe is the only thing we haven't upgraded yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that going. Still trash can, just looking at where we're at. Yeah, we'll get the copper hoe going. We shouldn't need it for the next few days. And since Olivia invited us to her house, let's go pay her a quick visit here. Oh yeah, sure enough. Oh my gosh, my hair even bounces and cuts in. I don't know why I thought it wouldn't. Oh, Sal, I trust you received my letter in the mail. Please come in. That was not a smile. Wondering what we're in for here. Sorry if my letter caused any concern or worry. I needed to speak with you in private. I haven't dated anyone in years, not since my husband, Edward. He... He passed away some time ago. 
I feel guilty, like I'm betraying him. I don't know if, if I can be with you. Um, they're both kind of awkward. Uh, you need to follow your heart. Because I'm not going to be like, oh, we should call this off. No, no. That, that'll, that sounds too eager. You're right. I need to follow my heart and trust my feelings. Edward, truthfully, he would want me to be happy. And I'm happy with you. I know deep down he wouldn't want me to suffer like this. It's time I let myself feel again. And I'm glad it's with you. With someone as charming as you, Sal. Hey, let me show you the art piece I'm working on now. Olivia showed me many beautiful paintings and we talked more about what uh, what we want to be together. She seems happier than she was before. Nice! Cool, so that's just like a freebie eight heart cutscene, I'm assuming. She must be in her room. Yeah. I don't... didn't really bring anything for you. I didn't plan. The most unusual event happened during aerobics. Someone new joined. Oh, they're still talking about it. Oh, cool. Oh, she's nine hearts. Her name is Claire. I believe she works at Jojo Mart. Yeah. Wow. She's very close to 10 already. Dang. You know what? Maybe we will... Uh, I mean, we're gonna have to, like, really schmoove at it, but... Maybe we will be able to get the mermaid's pendant. For those who don't know, you can't get the mermaid's pendant before you hit 10 hearts. So if I were to go down now, I can't really do anything with it. So I've made a decision. We're going to go see another cutscene is what we're going to do. That's what I decided. Love this song, by the way. There's a crazy remix of it on the Stardew and Chill album. I use it a lot when it's raining. Sal, why are you out here in the rain? Uh, just doing some work. I see. I came here to spend some time alone. Okay, well, bye. <laughs> But I don't mind your company. You're getting soaked. Come stand under the tree. It's impossible to describe this feeling. Watching the curtain of rain curtains of rain whisper above a silent lake. Oh, bust it out. Hey, a mini heart. You're full of surprises, Sal. I'm impressed. I didn't even know I was carrying it. Incredible. I love this scene. It's one of the best ones. Also, gotta agree. Love rain. Like... I'm almost sad when winter comes because the snow starts. Is there always so many, like, bugs? Oh, someone, everyone's always like, oh, two days until my copper hoe. Uh, everyone's are always like, oh, he keeps looking at things that are vanilla and being like, oh, that's new. Yeah. Yeah, it'll just happen. So, okay, what I was actually thinking is I am going to buy the lava katana. I feel like I absolutely must because I can't I can't just keep going into the mines and being like oh prismatic shard prismatic shard we'll never get there we'll never end up doing a skull cavern run if that's the case and I would like to do one this episode I have like oh I thought it opened at 2 maybe it's 10 p.m. I don't know so lava katana it's the best weapon that you can get outside of galaxy sword before you start going to Ginger Island. So officially we are grabbing it. It's a lot of money, but it's going to enable us to do so much. Officially we're Katana up. Also it has fantastic stats. Look at all that. Crazy. 
That's not adjusted at all, is it? For some reason, I don't remember it having a positive crit chance. Maybe I'm silly. Maybe I'm just silly with it. Robin's working on our silo right now. So tomorrow, we should be able to move all those trees around and get that going. What do I want to do for the rest of today? I, I really do feel like we've accomplished almost everything I was trying to do, so I'm just kind of aimless. Oh gosh, another cutscene. Who is this? Is this Victor or Shane? Shane, okay. Hey, didn't expect to see you here. Uh, you look like you have a lot on your mind. Eh, nothing gets past you, does it? Truthfully, the last time I came here, I was planning to jump in front of a train. I was more ready to end it all. I'm surprised that Expanded is jumping in to tackle this topic. I felt like everything was falling apart around me and the world was becoming less real. Suicide seemed to be the only option left. Ooh. Outright said the word. It's hard to believe I felt that way not too long ago. I even spent time researching how to commit suicide by train. If you do it wrong, there's a chance you could just lose your legs and bleed out or be cut in half. Do you know that? I really believed I had nothing in my future, nothing to look forward to. Ugh, I don't want to know what I was- I don't know what I was thinking, telling you that. Might have drank too much again, still feeling that hangover. Hey, I need to drink some water. My head's starting to ache. Wow. I think I will take this opportunity to apologize for a comment I made about his previous cutscene because it was just kind of something that I've heard a lot and like, have you been up to the top of the summit? Yes, I have before in a previous life. No, it's a beautiful view, but passing all those graves makes me feel a little glum. Understandable. Unfortunately, I didn't bring anything. Yeah, it's just something that I like heard over and over again and I didn't think about it. And so I kind of just repeated it and it is not correct to say that. You know, didn't I unlock the mini obelisk recipe sometime earlier? Yeah. Three gold bars. Oh, 30 hardwood. That hurts, though. I'm saving up hardwood for a lot of stuff, so... It's not like a resource I want to just get rid of willy-nilly. But I should be able to make... Yeah, 158. I should be able to just make two of them. Oh no, I only have 20 so or 31 solar essence. Okay, because so I was thinking what I want to do with that mini obelisk is have it connect up here to like down here. Because then I can like just real quickly, oh, go get all my mining resources, go get all my hardwood resources. So maybe uh, gathering a couple more solar essences wouldn't be a bad plan. And you know, I still need to get like more iron for the grandpa's shed quest anyway so maybe maybe i'll spend a little bit of time doing that i know i've probably checked this a million times but where does this minecart go oh that goes to our farm cave that's pretty quick but that's still a little bit out of the way compared to if i put like an obelisk here or something like right next to all of our stuff so i think i'll still plan to put the obelisk there that'll be a really nice resource area to get to have i did I buy a rabbit yet? I haven't. Why? I need to buy a rabbit. Good lord. I think we have a plan now. When do all my pumpkins... They're already in five days. Okay. And cranberries... Ooh, they're going to be ready tomorrow. Exciting. All right. Yeah, I feel like this was kind of a do-nothing day, but we, we know what we want to do now for the week, so I'm happy about that. All right. Nice and sunny day for once. Feeling lucky, actually. And our silo should be finished, so no longer will our animals be going hungry in the rain, which is really good because we really, <laughs> we really need this pig to grow up. It should only have one day left, I'm fairly certain. 
yeah, so tomorrow it'll grow up and it'll be able to go crazy on them truffles. So today's big project, we're going to expand this organized tree area all the way to the left. And now I can clear it all out and make use of all the hay that we're gonna get. So exciting. And since both of our coop and barn are already deluxe, we don't have to worry about actually distributing all the food. So that's already taken care of. Oh, I was clearing out trees here and I don't think I've checked grandpa's shrine yet because the note's still there. Wait for my return on the dawn of the third year. Nothing new. Thought it'd be worth just clearing out grandpa's area just so, you know, just to respect our grandpa. It's important that it's completely cleared off because otherwise we won't be able to put the trees where we want to put them, despite the fact that they're already fully grown. It's just a little bit of a... It's just a little bit of like a block. So that should be just about it. I'd like to expand it upwards a bit too, like maybe a, an extra tree or two just so we have more use there. But yeah, this is looking good. Oh, it is Tuesday. I'm all always, always a Tuesday. Okay, well, in that case, I don't want to forget about it. Let's go and buy... No, Marnie's going to be gone too, because it's a Tuesday. That's, this is why I haven't bought a rabbit yet. How could I forget? All right, well, in that case, golly goodness, I think it'll be a bit of a mines day so we can get a bit more iron ore. For all that though, let's get our complete breakfast for that farming boost and start harvesting all of our things. Also, we may hit level 10 farming. That'd be exciting. That is almost insulting. All right, well, what we're gonna start doing with all of the ancient fruit we get, well, out here at least, just put it in here so it can automatically be turned into seeds. Then we don't have to worry about that. I'm actually gonna put a pumpkin into the preserves jar we have there. Thought it'd be fun to send you a letter. I don't really know what to write though. Close a treat. Is that pepper poppers? That is pepper poppers, baby. That's plus two farming and plus one speed. That's pretty good. We're, we're gonna save that one for sure. So in kind of a soonish moment, we're going to want as much money as we could. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I'm very excited to really get our honey business going here, couldn't you tell? Because that's a lot of money, so I'll grab all of our little, like, money things, and I'm going to sell them because in the, recent, in the near future, I'm going to want to get as much explosive ammo as I can possibly get. I, do, I really do want to do a Skull Cavern run this week. Oh, our hose done upgrading. In that case, let's grab some geodes. I'm so close to the 50 iron bars needed. Do I actually maybe have enough done? Hold on, that's seven. Wait a second. I'm short one. Clintoris, my man. Wait. Oh, it's one day, I'm silly. Dang, I was gonna pop open all my geodes. Well, guess we won't do that. You know what I'm gonna do today? I'm gonna give out a couple of gifts just because I think it would be fun and nice and cool before we go to the mines because we don't need to go to the mines for much so I'm okay with this the wizard is getting ever so close to eight hearts yeah we're at six um I'm wondering oh seven it's more convenient for my magic okay um I'm wondering if it's something that we should do is date him because i know that there's a lot of like new dating content that comes with expanded but i really wanted this to be like my dating one person properly kind of playthrough hello sophia it's definitely it's just a person that i want to like get up a little more don't you love the colors of the season it's like we're living in a different world yeah i mean it is it's a different sprite map what a day me too buddy i hear you Oh, we have a new mission here. Completely forgot. Cave Patrol or Juicy Bugs Wanted. Well, we do have a choice we want to make here, and that's between the Geode Crusher, which I'd argue is a pretty big deal, or the Quality Bobber. I'm, I'm going to go with the Geode Crusher. 
uh, slay, what, 50 bats? Yeah. Yeah, we're doing that. Geode Crusher, for one main reason, partly because uh, we have a lot of tools to upgrade, so he's just going to be busy upgrading stuff for like a very long time. And second, if we ever want to duplicate an item that we've broken open in a geode, then we can take advantage of that. Because if you use a geode crusher directly after getting something from a geode, you'll get the same item. Doing yoga for many years, it's helped tone my body and concentrate my mind to a balanced state. Nice. Love seeing the purple circle. Haven't seen that yet. You should join us sometime. Maybe I will. Marnie's definitely someone I need to focus on just a tiny bit. Oh, I'm already at seven hearts. Never mind. I'm silly. If I could happen to catch Emily in the Star Drop Saloon, yeah. Not a problem. We'll give her a emerald, since I think it's one of the least valuable gems I have at the moment. Doesn't Gus also like diamonds? I'm pretty sure he does. Yeah. Or loves diamonds, rather. Oh well. Go ahead and just get a beer for Pam as well. We're so close to getting her to 10 hearts. Might as well finish her up if we can. We're going to briefly take some time, use our brand new lava katana, and kind of just go crazy in the mines. So let's see. Uh, I needed to kill bats. Those should show up pretty much anywhere. I need to get just a little bit of iron ore. And I still want to kill dust sprites. So we're going to camp these floors just real quick oh the damn oh my god the one shot on the dust sprites oh this is this is an exciting moment indeed all right 1 a.m no biggie let's get out of here i managed to get a couple of solar essences as well which i you know completely forgot that i was wanted to get a couple of those so that i could make some obelisks mini obelisks so just a little more progress there, I suppose. And then all of that iron can go right down here. And that'll get us set for the thing. So all we need now, I think, for Grandpa Shed. We have the hardwood, we need to get the stone, we have the iron bars, and we kind of just need to wait for battery packs, I suppose. Also, quick, do we have... George's birthday comes up tomorrow. Uh, if we have a hot pepper, then we're set for that. Susan's birthday will come up as well, which I haven't been completely ignoring her. I feel like a lot of people are like, oh, you're ignoring Susan. I'm really not. I'm kind of zooming on her. Oh, I got an achievement. Also, a lot of money. Oh, it might have been a money achievement. Now I think about it. Uh, new achievement, monoculture. Oh, okay, so that's probably we... Let me just see the exact number. Where's cranberries? We have shipped 360 cranberries. So yesterday we hit 300 ships of them, which means uh, we got the monoculture achievement, which, you know, usually you don't get that early, but I've just really gone crazy on cranberries. Hey, just another reason to like cranberries, am I right, fellas? Anyway, <laughs> uh, so we, na we now have 53,000 gallery goose and it's george's birthday do we have a, a hot pepper we do we even have a silver hot pepper oh yeah he'll love that that'll just get us a ton of progress real quick on that um i think it's back to the mines but also first of all feed our little horsey dude did i huh uh we need to buy that rabbit our pig is fully grown, so we can maybe watch him for a second and hope that he digs up a truffle. We might need to, like, clear out the area a little bit. Do you not gather hay if you don't use a scythe? I didn't know that, actually. Clear out an area so that he can possibly get that truffle. I'll go deal with my eggs in the meantime. Hey, we got a first duck egg, I think. Ooh, because we have a grown duck. I didn't see him. Oh! We just hit level 10 farming. I fully did not expect that. I completely forget all the time that animals... I forgot her member, uh, named it Satellite. That animals give farming experience. In fact, I don't even think I mentioned it in my farming guide. I don't know. Anyway, for the duck egg, we are going to ship it. 
we must ship it for our shipping log. All right, well, while we wait for our boy to hopefully dig up a truffle, let's go give a visit to Marnie because I do want to get that rabbit. Hello, I would like one rabbit. Thank you very much. What do I name it? Oh, nice. Okay. The communicator, baby. It doesn't fit. We'll put one M, no one will notice. The Nokia 9210 Communicator, baby. I think it's called the Communicator because it kind of looks like a calculator. I am actually going to get a second rabbit. It's, it's a lot of money, but the higher the chance we can get for a rabbit foot early on, the better. And we're going to name it Chocolate. I'm looking at the LG Chocolate right now. <laughs> Love it. We're getting into kind of the uh, older names for stuff, so we've, we've kind of gone through all the new ones. Also, I am friends with you. Might as well go ahead and grab the Lucky Purple Shorts. What am I going to use it for? Not quite sure. Usually my go-to for it is I use it for the Stardew Valley Fair, because then you just 100% completely don't have to worry about getting your Grange display set up. It's a free 750 points just because he's so embarrassed. But, uh, you know, I might just be a good person this playthrough. I know, I know, crazy might just give him his underwear outright. George, my man, you are not going to believe this hot pepper. Yeah, four hearts. That's probably the first time I've interacted with you. Don't worry about it. Bring Haley and Amethyst. Okay, interesting. Defeat ghosts. I'll probably do that naturally. Let's go organize our inventory. We're also going to go up to Robin so that we can move some trees around and really get like a proper layout for trees going. Oh gosh, what's this? I'm doing so much. Come in, Sal. I want to show you something. It's my secret hobby. I've been practicing for months. Now sit back, relax, and allow yourself to be carried away to a better place, okay? Oh god, what are you gonna do? What's crazy to me is with the, the seasonal outfits. They had to make every single one of these dance sprites with every single seasonal outfit. Imagine the amount of work. Oh lord. This is really our cutscene episode, isn't it? I think I'm just going to places that I don't go to normally. Love this, by the way. There's something very charming about, like, just... I don't know, when you're playing, like, a sprite-based game and there's just... Oh, effects are starting now. <laughs> you can't get this kind of thing in a 3D game, you know? It's effect time, baby. Oh gosh, all of the aliens. I think all of these are usable as emojis. If you're using chat. Absolutely tuckered. So what'd you think? Oh no! That was amazing. Thank you. I mean, the fact that you were able to make rainbows appear out of nowhere, pretty good. That was quite a workout. I haven't been this sweaty since I ordered the pepper platter at Abigail's graduation fiesta. Well, I'd better take a shower. Thanks for watching. Ba -da -ba. And what shower? You don't have one. Where's Haley? She better be here. Yeah, she is. The striped shirt? Oh, cute. I like the hair a little bit more down, too. Exactly what I needed. So happy and have your coconut. That's right. That's right. Do you want something? No, I guess. I just gave you, like, everything in the world. Let's go to the mines <laughs> without wasting much more time. Oh, my hose finished. You know what? Let's grab that. Just so I have it in case we see any clovers all, all about the place. Yay! Copper hoe! Our first hoe upgrade. I think our next one will probably be another trash can upgrade. All right, Robin, finally I must do this. Also, first of all, what farm building should we work on next? 
Maybe the big greenhouse? I mean, we, we're getting like a good amount of money. Slime hutch, ooh, it only needs one iridium bar. And that would allow us to start getting slime eggs? I guess I can get slime eggs right now anyway, but as random drops, you know. I could just start another fish pond too. Sheds are probably going to be a thing I'm getting soon. Okay, I just thought I'd take a look at it. Let's transplant some trees. There we go. Okay, that had two purposes. One, I wanted to clear out this area a bit more. And two, I, I like I do. I am getting the feeling that our farm is a little too large, and this kind of just like cuts out a huge portion of the farm that I will not have to navigate because you know it's used space. I don't know if that makes any sense to anyone, but there you have it. And I think for the rest of the day, I'm going to start working on that bat quest a little more because I really do want that geode crusher. So let's pay a really quick visit to the dwarf. We are level nine combat, which means I'm how many years old? Oh, yes, I apologize. I'm in a dwarven lifespan. You would be a child. OK, uh, I want to buy some. Can I not buy explosive ammo? Wait, where do I buy explosive ammo from? Am I stupid? That might, maybe that's from the Adventurer's Guild. Regardless, I would like to buy some bombs. So I'll get like 20, maybe a couple of cherry bombs for instances I want cherry bombs for. Uh, and later we will go buy some, you know what, I should probably do it now. Let's go buy some explosive ammo. Do you have the explosive ammo? You do, okay. Wasn't crazy. All right, let's get, Honestly, probably as much as we can buy, just about 70. Yeah, we'll do 70. Here's my reasoning. Uh, we don't need to buy crops next year or next season. So I don't really need to save up for anything at the moment. All right, let's start killing. Did I just complete a quest oh I was supposed to slay ghosts for the wizard oh I didn't even realize I took that well that'll be good for some friendship I'll turn that in tomorrow <coughs> oh here we go uh, a swarm is exactly what I actually want so this will be great for us all right, 12.40 a.m., a little sooner than I usually leave, but I'm going to leave now because I have decided that tomorrow is going to be the day that we head to the Skull Cavern because we don't have anything else major going on, no birthdays that we need to worry about. There's the market day, but I'm going to forgo it this time because I, I do like it being kind of more of a every other week kind of ordeal. So... Passing out's not a problem because we did hit level 10 farming, which means we are going to have a lot of money working with the future. And that's good because all of these resources that I've been grinding, wood, stone, it's easier to buy it. It's more time efficient. I'm maybe, this may be a controversial thing. I'm choosing artisan. I have to. It's the strongest profession in the game. It's going to benefit us so much, and I'm going to be able to spend more time doing productive things instead of just, oh, I'm going to be in the mines for five hours today, and we'll get some <laughs> we'll get some stone or some weeds, you know? Market day. Yeah, don't need to worry about that. <laughs> it's a bad luck day. You know what? That's fine. I need to encounter enemies. Good morning, dear. What? What? What's this for? This isn't the garden pot. It's a lovely walk out here. I haven't seen this old farm in a long time. Oh, maybe it is the garden pot. Looks even better than I remember. Why are we just getting this now? Brought you a little something. It's a gift from one gardener to another. Garden pots. This is a mod that we haven't seen up to this point. I did adjust the look of it because it looks nicer like that. Received a garden pot. These pots are really handy. You can use them to grow crops of any season indoors. They also look nice outside, but here they can only, but here they can only house in-season crops. 
If you need more, they're really easy to make too. Here, I've got an old magazine clipping with instructions. Learned how to craft a garden pot. That's gonna be a big one. Better go. George gets grumpy if he can't have his oatmeal on time. You have a great day, honey. He can make his oatmeal. You put it in a bowl and microwave water. Come on. Uh, oh yeah, build. 146 gold. Okay, so let's get our inventory ready. Also, this happens to be the day that all of our pumpkins are ready. I also need to check and see if we have any any truffles yet. Wow, yeah, that cleared off the area. I'm not gonna bother planting every, anything else because we only have a couple of days left. How did I miss yet another cram? Oh no, that's what I missed before. So it was just a little late. Bloomin'. Have you not dug up any truffles yet, bud? Gonna... Gonna need some truffles soon, my man. Ooh, and while we do still have the chance here, I am going to plant these ancient seeds because there's no reason not to, just to get them going. Eventually, I'll forget to pick these enough to where everything will be in sync, so I'm not worried about things being out of sync for too long. I'm gonna grab some coffees. I have eight of them. Speed boost will be nice throughout the day. As for the food buff, we have pepper poppers. I'll probably stick with that until we find some spicy eels in there. Cause that'll be, that'll probably be the best we have for now. And I don't think we need anything else. I'm bringing the copper hoe just in case we find anything that needs to be hoed. No, no way Pam's not going to go because of the market day, is she? There's no way, no way Pam. No way. Oh my lord, there, I, ah, uh, ah, oh, bro. I feel like Shawnee do right now. What, that's so rude. Guess I'll talk to everyone while we have the chance, make this a friendship day instead. How long do the rabbits take to grow, by the way? Five more days, so they'll be done on winter second. That reminds me, I do need to buy another heater, don't I? Because I think I have one in the coop. Maybe not. Oh yeah, I have one in the coop. I just need one for the barn as well. I really hope he digs up that truffle. That's gonna suck if he just doesn't. <laughs> well, I'll go ahead, I have the money for it. I'll buy the heater now so we don't forget, because I will. Hello, wizard. Would you like a purple mushroom? Oh, that's for the ghost. And purple mushroom. Oh, I've already given him two gifts, okay. Well, you wanna know one thing that we can do? We could, oh, that was funny. Got to see that happen. Let's do some more work on our tree farm over here. So I need to add paths in between everything. And I also need to, I could probably make quite a few tappers if I were to guess from all of the resources we have at this point. I don't know how many copper bars we have, probably not a ton. Uh, 14, we can make another seven. Yeah, seven tappers. And we'll make a bunch of wood floor to connect everything. All right, it is all connected. So whenever we want to expand this at all, all we need to do is add a couple of more tappers. So what's, oh gosh, that's in the way. What is that? Oh, it's a purple mushroom. I do want to like eventually add wood going up and down it too so that it's not like a hassle to walk through it it's just completely done like that but uh for now let's add some what i do with tappers there they are oak resin maple syrup okay so let's focus on maple syrup first we're gonna tap all of the maple trees and then uh pine tar i think is what we need for for kegs, so we'll do that as well. My pig has gone inside. Once again, a day without any any production. I always thought there was a at least a, almost guaranteed for one a day. So all of our honey is now going to sell for 952 gold, thanks to Artisan. That's what I meant when I said we're just going to start raking it in at this point, so I'm going to have a lot more freedom with what I do. And I can actually... We have a hole until the end of the year to like buy resources at a discounted price. So I might focus a little bit on doing that 
Anything I want to do before the end of the day? I mean, it's getting late. I should probably, you know what? All I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the mines and kill some more bats because I was kind of hoping that going to the Skull Cavern would give us an opportunity to just slay more bats naturally while doing something else. But I really do need to get that mission done, so back to it. <laughs> back to the mines. Uh, you are neutral on purple mushrooms, and I'm here, so there you go. <laughs> It's the best I can do. Where are we at for our dust sprites? 433. Oh my gosh. We're so close. We're so close. Oh, that just makes me want to grind it all out right now and forget the skull cavern. But it'd be nice to have the burglar's ring on our first deep dive into the skull cavern. But I'm not going to like stop doing everything else because of it. Okay. 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 I pushed it because I really wanted it, but I don't think we're getting it today. If I were to guess, we're probably 30 short. Just an estimate. Tomorrow's definitely going to be a Skull Cavern day. Got to do it. Where are we sitting on our cave patrol? Just need 10 more bats. If we do a full day of Skull Caverning, we should be able to hit that. Oh, I passed out. Oh, I passed out. Okay. Well, that's fine, I suppose. Oh, we didn't have a level up to offset that, but I'm not... Luck is not on our side! Okay, jeez, again. Not really worried about it. Yeah, I didn't do anything there. Got a new item in stock called the Auto Grabber. Wait, why did I unlock that? It's considered a luxury item, so I'm charging 25000 I mean, jeez, I might grab that soon, actually. Now I think about it. Lucky I found you last night, and there's... The money shouldn't have lost a lot. Notice a chill in the air. It could be the approach of winter or it could be celebrate tomorrow's festival of the Spirit's Eve. Okay. I was worried that was going to be like today and I was like, oh no, please don't. Okay. Well, let's very quickly get our inventory ready for a little bit of an excursion. I think I am going to take a trip down to the wizard. First of all, to complete a ghost quest that we did. And also to go look at the traveling cart real quick, since we have a little bit of time before Pam gets to her post. If she even does. I mean, gosh, today's probably her doctor's appointment. I don't know. Anything good, especially for what we're doing today? Uh, no. Literally nothing. Thanks again. And hello. Hello. I will complete that ghost quest. That puts us at seven. I think we've been at seven hearts. We've got to be close to eight though, right? Because we, we were at seven hearts at the beginning of the week when we did that first thing. So I guess one question is, do we want to very quickly, as fast as we can, take a trip to Susan to give her a gift? Because if we give her a gift today and tomorrow, we'll be able to give her a third gift on her birthday, which is Sunday. That's something to consider. I think I'm going to go for it. I'll just just zoom on through. Pumpkin is a liked item for her, and since we have a gold one, we'll give that to her. Oh, we have a cutscene for Susan, too. Didn't think we'd be getting one. Would you look at the size of my baby, Sal? I've never seen pumpkins so big. I guess I've never come up here kind of early in the day. That fertilizer's really something else, honey. I'll put the crafting recipe to good use. Maybe this is one of the cutscenes that we get something from her. Follow me inside for a sec. I want to share something with you. Because everyone, everyone's losing their minds about me getting friendship with her, so it's got to be crazy. Learn something new today, and I want to return the favor. Oh? I received Susan's patented fermentation method. Beer, mead, and pale ale are all more valuable. Oh! Oh, Okay. Hey, while you're here, would you mind helping me harvest those big guys outside? Well, huh. Well, if it's more stuff like that, I mean, geez. If, especially if it's honey. If it's honey, it's over. It's absolutely over. Sal, hello. I'm refreshing my little guys with patented homemade fertilizer. Nitrogen, potassium, pot potassium, and phosphorus are part of what makes Emerald Farms produce delicious. Just add sunshine, water, and some love, and you'll get yourself a profitable season. Wait, is this the same cutscene, or is it a, another one? Emerald Farm is small in comparison to Experience Farm. I can't imagine managing that much space. 
That's why I choose the small farms. Are you able to keep up with all that land? Um, I mean, I do never take breaks. That's a fact. I've noticed you work through every weekend and sometimes don't head to town for, into town for days. Don't push yourself too hard, honey. I don't know if that's true. Like, canonically with what I've done. Taking a day or two off won't be the end of the world. Maybe we can take a trip to Grampleton sometime. I'd, I'd love to introduce you to my crafting instructor. Ooh. I need to finish fertilizing before the afternoon heat hits. Talk to you soon. Neat. Susan was in a cheerful mood today. Is this a... Is this another cutscene? I'm only at five hearts. What cutscenes are these? Hey there, Sal. I'm grateful you took time out of your day to visit me. I mean, yeah, gosh. I'm harvesting my grapes. Oh, me too, buddy. I use a handcrafted keg to age them into wine. Right now, I only brew small batches, but maybe your Emerald Farm will become a full-fledged winery like Blue Moon Vineyard. Lots of money in wine. Uh, the cave. Oh, the probably the witch's hut. Um, sure, let's be inquisitive. What can you tell me about the cave? The cave by the railroad station? Honey, I've lived here all my, for a long time. I assure you there's no cave. Oh. You want to show me? Be my guest. I'm actually very curious about this cave. Wait, is that like a magic thing? Only we can see it? Because we slurped up that girt? Sal, there isn't a cave here. Just a wall of solid rock. Oh my goodness. Is everything okay? Have you been eating enough? You worked yourself too hard, dear. But what if she like touched it? Like touched the whole part of it? I'm going to get back to harvesting my grapes. I have a wine shipment due next month, so I have to get them into kegs pretty soon. Huh. Susan can't see the cave. You wonder, who else can? Interesting. Love that. All right. Well, now let's do what we actually came here to do. Get pumpkined. I think I am going to go ahead and... Oh, I think I am going to go ahead and pop this coffee. Also, talk to her. Just for the little extra juice. I think that was a comment about one of the cutscenes we just watched. Uh-oh. All right, we need to get back as fast. Oh, we're, we're thooming now. Need to get back as fast as we can for the Skull Cavern. I heard that. Truffle! Oh my god. Don't need to worry about it now. Oh my gosh, that is a huge load off my chest. Shoulders? I don't know. Where am I going to put that for now? I guess I'll put it with all the other stuff I need to donate. Don't you dare eat it. That now means we have two items that we currently need to donate. I know I haven't paid too much attention to the community center, but we are waiting for winter for most of these. Like, uh, I guess I could complete that. Chef's bundle, truffle. I need to... I think I need to get the ingredients for a monkey roll. Oh, pomegranate. Yeah, we need to do that. We have a pomegranate, don't we? Like somewhere? Have we not just not donated it yet? Ooh, we need to make sure we pluck it from the tree because it won't be there in winter. Okay, noted. I didn't realize we were just leaving that. Okay. Anything else? No. Other than that, it's just the winter foraging bundle. Okay. Yeah, that's why, I, I mean, I guess it's a good thing we just checked it right now. So, we're prepared. Let's get out of here. I need to get blackberries. This is going to be the first. Oh, I thumed in there too. Speed buff affected that. Our first serious run into the Skull Cavern. Always forget that this area is remixed. Not gonna grab any of that, don't need it. It just takes up spaces in my inventory. So I do like that I can see where everything is now if I ever need to go for it. I am going to get these clovers. There's still items that we need to get here that are unique. And that was four pieces of clay. I'll take my 12 gold, thanks. Let's get out of here. All right, so uh, I know I don't have any staircases. The strategy is going to be 
zoom. Also, Omni Geos are gonna be so nice too because I really do need to get more progress into the uh, into everything, into the museum. I mean, okay. Well, this is not the best start. Oh, I do need to pop my pepper poppers. I know it's a bad luck day, but that's kind of just something I'm gonna deal with. Oh, check this out. I can kill. I can maim and kill now. Out of here, and I got a bomb out of it. You really do love to see it. Oh God, you know what? Maybe we shouldn't have any problem getting to another level in combat. Unfortunately, I don't have like any kind of ring set up yet. So like, we're still going to be struggling in a couple of ways, but like, this is what I mean when I would not recommend anything less than the Lava Katana for the Skull Cavern, because you can like immediately it's, I don't know. I'm not gonna go crazy about it this entire run, but still. Oh, just a straight up ir ir Iridium Bar. You can't hate that. All right, first hole. Three levels, we got the lowest possible number. That's all right, I suppose. I think I'm starting to feel like we have a bad enough start here. Maybe if this is a good jump. Six, that's uh, average. I'm kind of starting to think we have kind of a weak start. Not sure if we should go ahead and just try again another day, although we did just get Miner's Treat, which is, I mean, it's not crazy, but it's something. Oh yeah, now we're holding up. Now we're getting hold. Oh gosh, how much stone do I have? 145. Let's clear out the starting area and then I'll decide if I want to skip this. I do. Hold on. Kill you first. Maybe we'll get a staircase. Nope. Okay. Yeah. Not really too intent on doing all of that. Maybe this trip will be worth it after all. And really, like, your first few bars of Iridium are so important to get that I'd still say that this is still a very good, successful trip. I'm not really counting on this being a floor 100 run, but we're kind of making decent pace. Kind of, just a little bit. Ouch, that mummy hurt. If you weren't aware, mummies are the most damaging enemy in the game. Uh, well, before you get to like the dangerous floors. Actually, even when you start doing dangerous stuff, it is still the most damaging, so. <gasps> oh my god. I mean, this is why it's worth coming. Also, you get to see that juicy little prismatic shard animation. Well, that's nice. Also, I did get crab cakes. So I am going to go ahead and eat that. First prismatic shard. Fall 26th. I mean, it's it's. I'm not going to act like that's super duper late, but figures it happens right after you I bought the Lava Katana. Although, wouldn't have gotten this far without the Lava Katana, would I? All right, midnight, I think I'm going to call it uh, first semi-serious dive. Let's look at the spoils. So, Prismatic Shard, obviously major. Super big win there. One Iridium Bar, 44 Iridium Ore. What is that? That's eight more bars. So that's enough to upgrade our pickaxe to Iridium, which is important. Uh, let's see. I mean, all the other stuff we get normally, but uh, this prismatic shard, I left a little bit early. I've been asked a few times if there's anything else out here. No, not really. It's fairly empty that you just walk all the way to the bottom and you find the pillars. Otherwise, I think it's just a lot of room for like foraging. Someone asked me to walk to the edge. Boom, that's it. It's nothing else. I will grab this galaxy sword though. No question about it. No reason to use it for anything else. Also, that looks snazzy, doesn't it? You found the galaxy sword. The prismatic shard changes shape before your very eyes. So let's compare that 80 to 105 damage compared to our stinky little 60 to 70. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, whoa, plus five crit chance. It definitely didn't have that before. I think I can say that with confidence. 
But yeah, that's gonna be, I mean, that's as good as it gets. We're not gonna find anything better than that. Nothing. All right, let's get out of here before we pass out because I don't want to lose a thousand gold. Rather not. Oh, that looks a little funky. Oops. Oops, guess it doesn't really work too well in the desert, does it? Oh well. Well, I would call that successful. Now, before we go to sleep, real quick, I am gonna smack in all that iridium ore. And I'm gonna make sure that it's the first thing that it works on. We'll put everything else in there as well. I mean, we got a good amount of ore outside of just iridium ore, so that's nice. Uh, will that be done? Not quite done in the morning, but it'll get there. I'm also excited we got 17 Omni Geodes. You better believe I am popping every single one of those open. In fact, that'll probably be one of the first things we do tomorrow is a, a good geode run. Because I would like to fill up the... Oh, what do you call it? You know what I'm talking about. I would like to fill up the museum so that we can start getting friendship with Gil. Because I heard that's something you can do. Spreading weeds have caused damage. Well, that kind of sucks. Also, yay, we got better luck on this day. Oh, gosh, that is all of the pumpkins. Well, we're going to make some money today, aren't we? I might save all of these pumpkins. Since we do now have level 10 farming, maybe we can get some kegs going. Maybe we can get a shed built. There we go. Um, I think I'm going to spend the day kind of focusing. I like that a <laughs> forageable spawned right there. I know that the farming map kind of like makes everything kind of neutral, but still just a little silly. Listen, I don't need milk. I know, a couple of people have mentioned it. I just don't need milk. I'm gonna grab all the eggs though. And a duck feather, hello there. Funny enough, we don't need the duck feather for any anything. So I'm just gonna ship it. Also Machi loves me. Hey, we got max friendship with our cat. That's it, that's done. So now whenever everyone tears me to pieces for not <laughs> petting my cat, at least there's no mechanical downside to it now. Five iridium bars, baby. So I think I'm go oh, I shouldn't get rid of our pickaxe yet. Also, it's a festival, so I can't do it anyway. So let's get everything we need for bundles. Oh, that's right, I need five beats for stuff. Also get a gold pumpkin for, for Susan. Do I have the recipe for Maki rolls yet? I do. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to buy rice today, so we're not going to be able to make it, unfortunately. I mean, you know what? Let me check that, actually. And before we go, let's pluck our pomegranates. That would have been awful if I had forgotten about it. So are we allowed in town? We are not. Okay, I didn't expect to be, so we can't... <laughs> Actually, you know what? We can't donate things anyway, so I guess we're not doing that today. But now we have it all organized, ready to go. I can't also... I also can't break open my geodes. So, uh, I mean, I guess we're going to have a very limited scope as to what we can do. Let's just put everything back so that when we are ready, we can do it. Can go still give Susan a present. Hello, good thing you're not actually in town. Um, if I remember correctly, she loves pink cake. Yeah, so that'll be her gift tomorrow. I don't think... Yeah, there's actually nothing here that can have quality, so... That'll be your tomorrow gift. Oh, it's not often that you get to talk to someone on the day of a festival. Cages are being set up in town as we speak. Caught several shadow brutes and skeleton walkers. Nice. So he's actually talking about the setup that they get. Yeah, it's a little weird that they're real <laughs> monsters that are there. I don't know about y'all. Okay, so since we can't do anything in town, I guess we'll take this opportunity to finish up our bats and finish up our... Oh, look at that damage. Oh, it's ridiculous. And also finish up our dust sprites because we're so close to that. Oh, was that level nine mining? What did I just get? Uh, no, I just got level 10 mining. So that just leaves combat and cooking, which, you know, cooking, we're stockpiling stuff. That'll be more of a late game unlock, I think. Although we are so close to level five, maybe I should just push it. 
as soon as I can. I don't know. Oh, and I got a combat level up and that's level, it's level nine. Not bad. Monster Slayer goal complete. No more, no more slaying of the little dudes. Uh, K Patrol, we have five more bats. So before I do that, I'm actually gonna really quickly check. I don't know if the Adventure Guild is actually open on today. They are. Also, cutscene. Oh, is this about the Galaxy Sword? We actually get a cutscene acknowledging the fact that there's new weapons. That weapon, there's no mistaking it. You received a Galaxy Sword. Yeah, sure did. Goaded. You've been deemed worthy, Sal. This is a true honor. I obtained my first Galaxy Weapon after a night of harsh battles at Castle Village. There was a purple blinding light as a sword slowly fell into my hands. I felt the power of the cosmos for a second, for a brief second. Wizards and scholars believe Yopa gifts these weapons to true peacekeepers of humanity. Okay, yeah, that'll lower my ego. I'll allow you to purchase galaxy weapons from our hidden weapon cache adventure. I'm proud of you. You can now purchase galaxy weapons. That's a nice way to explain it. Because it's like, you know, you'd think it's kind of rare, but this guy's, he's been around the block. First of all, sell our lava katana. Yeah, now if we really want, we could get the galaxy dagger and the galaxy hammer. I'm not really, I think I'm good with the, oh, I guess I could buy these eventually. Not sure if I should buy it sooner rather than later. I still haven't seen a frog. I don't know where you get frogs from, but a uh, ruby ring might be worth buying sometime soon because we can't craft them. So if I ever want to like combine it with an iridium band or something, be something to do. Why did I come here again? I already talked to you today. That's right, I wanted to 501 dust sprites. Give me that burglar's ring. That is getting equipped. Goodbye, small magnet ring. I guess I'll sell it. Here you go. Beautiful. That's a game changer. So for anyone who doesn't know, I suppose you get a double chance to drop items from each enemy. So it's not like, oh, it's hard, kind of hard to explain how it works. Basically, it rolls the chance to drop an item twice. So it could drop two items instead of one. It's not just like, oh, it's double the chance. So it's actually very useful. You'll notice I'm just getting a lot more drops from enemies now. Three solar, solar essence from that. I don't know how I got three, but sure. What am I at for cave patrol? 48? Oh my goodness. I want to do this before Halloween or the Spirits Festival starts. Oh, finally! Gosh, it took so long to find that one bat. Oh, that's it. I don't have to see him or anything. Although that's a ton of gold. Oh my goodness. Cool. So tomorrow we should be getting the geode crusher recipe. That lines up with us crushing a ton of geodes at Clint's very nicely. So if we have the materials to craft that, we'll be pretty set. Halloween should start in literally 10 minutes. It's 10. It's 10 p.m. Never mind. Well, while we're here, we'll put all that ore we got over there. I'm gonna keep a lot of my coal because you know what we can do with that. We can go ahead and make five more bee houses because we're not crazy enough as it is. There, now we're stretched from side to side. In fact, you know what? Could go ahead and finish out the corners, so now that's all set up. Why are there four mushrooms here? Good lord. We have, like, ancient fern and seeds and stuff. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go... Let's go actually plant those. Because we have the greenhouse. I completely forgot that we had them. So I guess let's put them along... Oh gosh, I wanted to put them in a place that's, like, nice. Let's put them along the bottom here. Go ahead and water them for good taste. And those will get going. So how long is that? 12 and 13 days for the Salal Berry. Ancient fiber. I don't know. I hope that wasn't like a spoiler as to what I was going to be getting, but means nothing to me. Martin, you're not going to spend time at Halloween? Oh, come on. Spirit's Eve. Sorry, I keep doing it.
Why, hello there. Who's this spooky girl? Is that Jess? But Aunt Marnie, I want to go to the maze. I'm not scared. Oh, is everyone in costume? Oh. Oh, that's so good. I have had a productive fall. Thank you. What do we got here? Oh, that's right. The jack-o'-lantern recipe. Good thing I didn't miss that. And the rare crow. Good thing I had money. I completely forgot that I had to get those. Hello. Took a mighty amount of effort to catch these monsters. Most of the credit goes to the Castle Village Adventures. Interesting. Aw, he's a little vampire. I Now I want to go talk to everyone and show it because of all the costumes. One of my iridium fu infused maces would make quick work of these things. Well, maybe you should have had one. Uh, so these are shadow roots. They look menacing. Hello, Sal. Have you entered the maze? I deployed surprises for anyone who dares to enter. Oh no, is it different? Might have gone a little overboard with the monsters. Oh no, are there actual monsters? Just cat ears. You love to see it. Gil? Marlin and adventurers from Castle Village caught these monsters. Don't get too close to the cages. Maybe I won't. Nice. Uh, well, winter's almost here. That's Robin. Wow, I could hardly tell. Demetrius is Frankenstein. Very nice. Gus is a Viking. Fits. Pirate Andy. I love that even Andy's getting in on the, in the costumes. I love it. Who's... Okay, that's like the Sleeping Beauty bad person. Maleficent. Vincent's upset that I won't let him go to the haunted maze. Oh my goodness. Oh, did the old people get together and like theme it to Disney villains? Oh, that's so cute. And you're, well, maybe not. <laughs> you're just someone, I don't know. Maybe I just don't get the reference. Robin Hood, just a thief. This handcrafted grape juice from Blue Moon Vineyard is tempting. Chain with the skeleton costume. Emily as a clown, all right. I thought she'd go a little crazier with it. Sophia as a cowboy, very nice. I, I would have thought she went crazy. Like, why is she not in like a Sailor Moon cosplay or something, you know? I don't know, maybe that's a generic one to suggest. Have you tried Pierre's spiced pumpkin cider? I thought she would have went really crazy with it. If you see me out fishing, you just come on up beside me and cast your line too. You're always welcome to. Thanks. Little pumpkin boy. Oh, I love everything. Sorry if this is getting like boring. Even George. I just love all of it. Look at her. She's one of the, uh, the fairies for Cinderella, I think, or something. I don't know. Hello, Sal. It's chilly, isn't it? Love the lipstick. Pam is a zombie. It's crazy. I just, oh, I love it so much. All right, let's move on up to the maze. I think I'll just keep you with me this entire time because I love it so much. Also funny how close this is to uh, actual Halloween. Too scared. Although I say funny. Is the maze changed? Why do I not remember the shape? Hello, Maru. I think I've already been this way. No, wait. I think she's just kind of some vampiric kind of thing. Uh, nothing here. They did change the maze. Oh God, I actually have to figure it out again. Is that? Okay, I just want to talk to them. I can see that this is the wrong way, but you found me. Truth is I got too scared, so I came here to hide. Don't tell anyone. It's a chest there. That seems to be a fake chest because it's not like an open icon. About to give up and grab some food. I just saw you walking to the bus. What are you doing? Can't walk through that. Wait. Oh, there's a chest over here. Are there multiple rewards? Or is this just like fake? You've been bamboozled. Oh no. That's a way that Shawnee dude would say it. There's like a, hold on. Can I not get through? Huh, there's like a gap. Also, an actual skeleton walking around. I'm sure it won't damage me. Okay, I've missed something here. Wait, that's what I missed right there. Here we go. Now we're getting there. It's Abigail. Can't go on. Spiders. Well, you're not going to enjoy floor 40 through 60 of the dangerous mines. Vapor from this cauldron. It's making my head spin, but I can't seem to leave. Uh oh. High on high on that supply, aren't you? 
Warning, monsters ahead. Please be wary of deadly monsters in this part of the maze. If you choose to consider any further, you are responsible for your own life and well-being. What? Crazy. Something weird over there, but how do I get to it? The chest or the sword or like, what are you talking about here? Can tell the chest behind the graves is fake, yeah. Cool. You've been bamboozled too, haven't you? There's gotta be a secret passage around here somewhere. What do you want him to get to? Also, this is huge. Good lord, look at all of this. Well, I guess let's try this bottom path. It looks like it might actually be the right way. House has weird looking feet. It's not a thing you can go and interact with. Uh, there's a skeleton monster patrolling by those graves. Yeah, and it's real. Sam, oh my gosh, that's odd. It's just a dead end up ahead. I thought that might have been like a hint like, oh, there's somewhere to scoot on through, but I guess not. All right, going this way. Now these gonna like, no, <laughs> they don't do anything. In fact, I think I can walk through them. Is this fake? Yeah, it's fake. I don't think there's anything I missed, so we're all good. Talk to my dudes here, my little mummy. Walk through them, no problem. Yeah, no, they're just chilling. Wow, that was a whole ordeal. I got the golden pumpkin. I don't know what I'm gonna use that for. Um, gosh, maybe I'll... I don't know if I wanna make like the wizard hat out of it or if I just wanna like leave it as a decoration, give it as a gift. I, I really don't need the $5,000 or the $5,000 rather. So I'm not really gonna use it for that. I don't know, I'll figure out something with it. I was thinking, I'm kind of leaning towards making it a decoration because I want to make a lot of sheds that are very decorative since I don't really need to use them for max efficiency because, I mean, I have automation, so I should be fine. Funky rug. Love the graveyard decorations. They're one of my favorites. Well, let's get out of here. I think we saw pretty much everything. And that Spirit's Eve. Uh, let's put out our little... Which, uh, we'll put it, put it on the edge like here. Just so that I like, I know I don't need it, but they can protect. Kind of fits theme wise into there. Let me grab my gold pan. Cause you never know. Um, I mean, I guess that's it for today. Not really anything else we can do. Let's move on to our final day of the week and of fall. Oh, that's right, level 10 mining. So blacksmith for metal bars or chance to find coal doubling. Again, we're just getting so much money. I don't think I need to double my coal. So I'm gonna go blacksmith. Oh, that's right, the iridium band. We unlocked that crafting recipe. Holy moly, uh, let's... I should have everything I need to make it. I'm pretty sure. Final day of the season, a lot going on. First we have artichoke dip, gotta get that. Nice. Uh, so we are going to be taking a trip to the community center today and also last day of all of our cranberries, that'll make us a little bit of money, that's for sure. Maybe I'll keep these cranberries instead of selling them so that we can, if we just end up making a ton of kegs over the winter and we just need stuff to put them in, then cranberries will do the job just fine. So yeah, I'll keep these ones. Uh, everything's gonna start going away, that's fine. One thing I absolutely should do today is just cut as much grass as I can because it's all gonna go away in winter. There's no reason to keep it around. It would appear that is all I can get, so that has been tapped out. Sweet. Just thought I'd do that, I just thought of it. So, we'll be good there. What's this uh, letter? Oh, that's right, for the geode crusher, okay. Let's see if we can make that. Here's some fertilizer, won't mind if I do. Slap that in there. So, what's the recipe for the geode crusher? Should be near the bottom. Gold bar, stone, and diamond. Oh, I can make that, easily. Probably should just be able to make it through here, yeah. Make one Jude Crusher will bring that to us when we go to Clint's. We'll grab all of the geodes. I think I put it all over here because this is where I wanted everything that I was gonna need. 
grab all of our stuff for the community center. Absolutely, because we're going to really turn that up. Alrighty, first things first. Let's very quickly buy some rice. Is there any any of these I should get? Uh, maybe I should get some fairy seeds because we do have our we have our garden or our greenhouse, but also. If I were to make a shed and plant fairy seeds in there, I could use all of our bee houses on it. I do have better bee houses, which allows me to put them indoors. And that was kind of the reason I did it. I guess hopefully I have seaweed. I didn't actually check. Yeah, we do. And we'll use, oh gosh, this is all fish that I kind of need, isn't it? Um, this is a smallmouth bass. I know I'm saving it all for the aquarium, but gotta do it my phone's ringing uh who could it be vincent you know how to put in a phone number do you have any piggies on your farm i have one okay gotta go fantastic i wish that would just like raise a ton of friendship with someone oh and good thing we upgraded our uh frying pan too otherwise we wouldn't be able to do this all right, this is gonna feel good. It's not like we're finishing the bulletin board bundle, but we're getting darn close. First of all, Iridium Bar, crazy that she wanted that. That gives us another seed maker. Chef's Bundle will be completed as well. And that'll give us, oh, another pink cake, okay. That's a loved item for many people. And unfortunately, no rabbit's foot. You hate to see it, but we're just gonna have to wait. Hopefully sometime in winter we'll have that so that when we will have that year one community center completion. And we're actually gonna have to give them a lot of attention because the higher their friendship is, the higher of a chance they have to drop rabbit's foot. And it's very rare actually, so we'll have to pay attention. Oh, just the woman I wanted to see. Oh gosh, I don't wanna leave my horse. Hello there, happy birthday. That's gonna be eight hearts. Pretty dang good. Crops won't last much longer. Okay, so I, real quick, I'm going to run on to her farm because I don't know if cutscenes will activate in winter when she's not gonna be farming, you know? Okay, nothing here. All right. I might have to look up how to get that. Okay, so I just checked. We're good because her she doesn't have an eight heart cutscene. She actually has a seven heart cutscene. Her seven heart cutscene activates only in winter, so that's fine. And also, her ten heart cutscene is any day, uh, any season, so we'll be fine. Now, Clint, I've got so okay. So first of all, I should have brought coal. Hold on, let me. Let me go back and get coal, yeah. Actually, you know what, no. I'll use it if I need to. If we get anything really good, I'm going to set up that geode crusher and we're gonna crush a geode for it. I pretty much wouldn't do that for anything except for a prismatic shard, so we'll see. Okay, we didn't actually end up getting anything too crazy. I don't remember which items we've donated and which ones we haven't, so let's just go ahead and see what we've got here. I'm sure we've got a few at least. Six new items? That's not bad at all. All right, we'll put the spiky stuff with the spiky stuff. I don't know what that is. <laughs> uh, soapstone. It's a lot like the Lunarite. Dwarf things go down here. Two black things over here. Sure. Not a ton. Not, honestly, not as much as I was hoping for. What do we got here? Yeah, just all that. I don't think we've hit 60 yet. It's really hard to kind of just tell unless you want to literally count it. Okay, just thought I'd re-enter just in case anything activated once I did. Cool. Well, that's all of our little daily little doodads to do for the day. Oops, what did I just give you? I think I just gave him one of the gems, my bad. Didn't mean to do that. 
so I guess now let's go check. Well, you know what? We have this pink cake. Let's give that to Olivia. And she should have like special dialogue since it's the last day before winter. Most people do. It's a dark story about the family that used to live in our house. Oh, I'm not allowed to talk to anyone about it. Oh, yes, Sal, that includes you too. What? What happened? Olivia is now ignoring you. Okay. I guess, oh, that must have come off as me pressuring her to say something. Well, here, have a whole cake. Enjoy. Uh, qu not quite 10 hearts yet, but I'm sure by next week we'll have it. I can't imagine that we wouldn't. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to marry her this year unless we find a rain totem which is entirely possible we're kind of getting to that point in the game where we could find a rain totem so i guess for our last day of fall here there's one there's one other thing i actually wanted to check first of all i can get rid of all of these gems they don't turn into into anything with amber right no didn't think so i think i'm going to start doing a bit more with my pathing and also where's that iridium band I need 50 Void Essence. I don't actually have that? Wow. That surprises me. Oh, it needs five Iridium Bars. Why did I think it needs one? Did they rebalance that? Maybe they did. Maybe they didn't. Maybe that's vanilla and it's just another one of those things where I'm like, oh, they must have rebalanced it when they didn't. I'm going to make a ton of walkways because I want to expand my paths. Do I have like no wood? Where's all my wood? Did I put it in here? I have wood. There's no way I don't have wood. Okay, so what area to focus on first? I think I wanna focus on over here next to where our tree farm is. There is a little path that comes down out of here that I wanna clear off and make a path through. So we'll get started on that. Since there's usually not too much to do over winter, I really want to focus on making my farm kind of looking, finished looking. And that's going to involve making a lot of paths, probably building a lot of buildings and stuff like that. Okay, so that's just that little section done. I would like to make a big fence around my animal area. I know controversial thing to do, but I like having a little fence. In fact, you know what? I could make this path meet back up over here. I think I'll do that next. There we go. Wouldn't want that lousy wildlife getting in the way, would we? Although I think I could probably scoot this over just a little bit, maybe make it more of a curve, but that's what that looks like. I still need to fix the farm cave. Don't worry, we'll get around to that somehow. All this will clear off. I'll have to set it all up for whatever I want to put in next. Flower's gonna die too. You know what? Go ahead and take that. No reason to leave it. Just to let it die. Ah, uh, yeah. I think we'll call that a fat dub. All right, let's get out of here. I'm ready for winter. I'm ready to start hearing winter music. I suppose I'll see you all in the next one. Hopefully it won't be as long as a wait as this one was. Thank you for watching and good night.